Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. My name is Ravenschild and I am continuously building on this station here and <laughs> I'm, I have the feeling I'm putting too much effort in but on the other hand I really like it <laughs> and so I'm I'm having I'm having fun oh, that sounds crazy <laughs> no and I have started our uh, delivery ship so uh, the 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 sleigh still exists but this one is uh, a lot nicer when it comes to going down there coming back up and uh, bringing uh, materials to the to the station so I'm using the the ly thrusters i want to don't know incorporate them i really like them and so i i wanted to build a ship um that that uses these and you can see that i'm also using the normal atmo thrusters has to do with that i want to when on the planet's surface i want to save up on energy these things really, really take up energy. Let me uh, start and then we take a look at this. So these thrusters, just the normal atmospheric thrusters take 2.4 megawatts max usage. The big LY thrusters, <laughs> these things, are the big ones, take 28 megawatts. <laughs> And so one of these things, as far as I see it, uh, can, yeah, can nearly max out a big uh, reactor. So this ship has uh, three big reactors on it and it still sometimes maxes out. Um, it has to do with if, it, if breaking force is applied or if uh, something like that happens. But they are crazy powerful I have the feeling so we will test that out in a in a second and go into the atmosphere bring some materials down to the planet and see how crazy it is so what we need to do is I need to get this tag to all the other cargo containers um, I think we will yeah try to debug menu <laughs> I was <laughs> I was playing Seven Days to Die and I started up the the um the how's it called? The 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 alpha build or the 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 the, the test build and now it went into a stable build and my world got corrupted and I was trying if there's any way to solve that um, by using the debug menu but I wasn't evil even able to get into the debug menu the this, don't know I, I broke down a block and suddenly it it gave me in the console an error message that I couldn't close and so I sadly had to delete the world <laughs> so that's that's a bit bad but uh, yeah, uh, now I can just go back to space engineers and do some work here. That's that's good to find thing is here to go to the debug menu or something like that. You don't need to put in uh, any console commands. That's a good thing. So large reactor. Um, these are all locked, so we can later lock that back in. Th this will not stay this way. So I, I just established a bit of a, a form for it and then started to um, put some blocks around it. And you can see that these these big thrusters, I have one at the moment at the, bo uh, at the bottom, and that for now is com completely enough. These things also have crazy, um, crazy thrusts, I think. 
Let's go. Say max max thus is one point six mega newtons. What is with these optimal thrust? Max thrust in atmosphere. So optimal thrust is four hundred four hundred eight kilonewtons. So these things these things alleviate a bit of the the power usage of the the these pulse thrusters. I, I'm so the, the the thing about this is they work in both environments. That's one thing I really like. Um, <laughs> I'm con still I, they they are still on the in a testing phase these nurses because uh yeah again the, the power usage is crazy but they they also provide uh yeah four times four times the amount of thrust for i think 10 times the amount of energy and i have to say that is okayish okayish i would say <laughs> so I, I hope we, we can find a bit of a uh, common grounds there. And maybe if you have something um, that you would like to say about these thrusters, then let me know. I'm getting sick again. It is uh, close to New Year's and around New Year's, for some reason, I'm getting sick nearly every time. And... I don't really know why. This is something. No, you are not supposed to be here. And it began today. It's the the worst because today we we have a bit of an not yeah we we usually with friends we um we go and have uh. And yeah, we, we go and eat some, how's that called? Not have dinner. <laughs> Usually it involves a lot of Chinese food and uh, uh, having, yeah, having a, a big, uh, yeah, we, we are going out and we're eating with friends and we're eating uh, a lot of food and yeah. The last few times I wasn't able to go because I was sick. And today it starts again. It's the day today and uh, my last New Year's were, yeah. I think the last time was the first one in a few, in a few years that I was able to go out and now something decided no 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 you you are staying home again we, we will see how how bad it gets so that's neat yeah we will pack that in a bit i i want to with so much thrust on our hands we we might be able to just enjoy building around a bit that could be neat having some more blocks than we usually have on these on these uh, things the the one around the the mars like planet is really skeletonized and maybe we can we can stray away uh here a bit and maybe give it some more uh blocks just for just for looks that that would be neat okay let us do this and then this will come up. I decided that I want to have something like a like a fin on here. Yeah, and it starts. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can hear that, but um, we are close to New Year's and people start to use uh, firecrackers and these these rockets and all that stuff that's that's expected to happen every year it's uh, 
uh, it's illegal in Germany. You you are just allowed to use um, fireworks um, on New Year's Eve, and I think a day after or something like that. So so there's a, a certain amount of time. Uh, there's a certain amount of time you have where you are allowed to use fireworks, but most people, <laughs> most people are, uh, yeah, just don't care. And that's, I, I'm, I'm, I myself, I'm not an avid user of fireworks, so I will not complain, let's say it that way. So it's not like I'm calling the police on these people, but the noise, the noise is something that as a YouTuber, you, you don't want to have, but you all know that I'm, I'm picky about the sound, although sometimes it's not even noticeable with the microphone. So good. Did you all have an, a few nice days around? Yeah, around the the holidays. Hope you had some time with your family, or if you haven't, that you at least had some some good times on your own or something like that. I <laughs> some people. Some people commented that they are not uh, celebrating, and again, I I just <laughs> I don't want to uh, push you to do. It's just I just wanted to wish the people everything's fine. It's uh, just I I was surprised that some people don't celebrate at all. And that's uh, and not no no not because they uh, they are from another religion or something like that no no they just no I'm not celebrating I, that's too much <laughs> I can understand that I think being sick is has to do with uh, Christmas and all that stuff because yeah uh, usually I. Uh, I I was sick um, on Christmas and that changed. I am again now usually sick around the New Year's and I think <laughs> it sounds bad but it might have to do with my my young very young nieces they bring they bring in all the the germs from from kindergarten and all that stuff and because of my medication my immune system is not the best you all know that <laughs> because of my lifestyle too but and on yeah on on christmas we all we are all having a good time and all that stuff and sitting together and it could it could be that usually you get you get something from them from them then and um this okay what do i need i want to build this up a bit more a bit roundish on top so there will be a layer on top of that um, I'm, I'm not sure yet I want to build out the other side first maybe we go out and bring something to the station we need some more motors and metal grids there and yeah always appreciated are some um some oh it, uh, i missed out on showing uh, showing off all the rest of the area so let us do that quick and then i will pack some stuff um, and then i will match sides here 
then pack some stuff and we go down. So I'm I'm building this out to have a hangar here, a relatively small one, nothing special. This thing fills that up already relatively well. Then we have an open platform here. Um, I want to use some glass to have don't know this as, as viewing area or something like that. And this will be a long corridor down to the ships. And what I want to test here is if we can set up um, yeah, something like a train in here. It would be neat to have something to drive to all the ships so I don't have to I don't have to go down the corridors or fly down the corridors. It would be neat to have something like that. If we could automate that, that would be even nicer. And then have docking space for all the ships here. Uh, or, don't know. I'm the, the problem that I always have is that nothing is standardized and that's something I should change so that we, we could have standardized uh, docking areas that I could use to bring in the ships, unload them or load them with stuff if I want. We will we will have to see how that how that works out. We could also resort to we could resort to using M Marm OS again to have some I don't know, some arms that could just yeah, that could just be used to dock. I'm not sure. We will we will have to see how that how that works out. For now, again, I want to keep the the whole fleet uh, stationary and not have them um, not have them be in in space. You all know because of performance and all that stuff. Then I'm. This area below the hangar will be mostly walking and then some uh, stuff to connect the small ships up in here. This is a, yeah, an area where you can go over to uh, this area. This will be storage and maybe power. Uh, I already have put down some storage containers here. You can see that. The the frog face, by the way, is is vanishing rapidly. <laughs> and um, then, yeah, that that will be all then. On top, I'm not sure if I put something on top, but that that will be all then. I've tested out these these rails here. They work, but it's not what I want. So we will try to do something with uh, yeah with normal blocks I, I hope that works out at one point so these these are yeah like wheels they work on these on these rails they lock to it it's pretty nice if you want to have something like that then this works out pretty well uh, these are by the way the iron thrusters from from ly uh, they work exceptionally well too, but again, they are just for space then. These uh, silvery things down there, they lock to the to the train tracks there or to the rails. And then you can, yeah, you can use it like, not like a car, but uh, it hovers above that. We they they seem to work like landing gears or something like that the the tracks themselves because if you come too close with anything else to the to this thing uh, it will lock that down too works nice but it's it's not what I want to go for so for no no planetary planetary gravity and for all this stuff that that might be really nice. Keep that in mind if you want to use that. This is the maglev train or maglev tracks mod. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, not what I want. Good, let me uh, go and uh, make that look at least similar and then we will load up this ship and go down to the planet. 
I've done some more work and you can see that I'm, I'm trying to, again, I'm trying to use more block this time to smooth it out, to fill in maybe some, some gaps, but to leave some stuff open so that it fits into what we usually have. But again, I want to be a bit more detailed with this. So I want to bring in some blocks down here, some blocks here, smooth that out maybe and bring it into the, the thruster here and in the front too. Have a surface here. I'm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I brought that down. I had this going on to the front but that seemed to be too high and I'm I'm not again with with a lot of power you you can be a bit more fancy when it comes to when it comes to this I, I hope that doesn't bite me in the end if I go to the planet and then just crash and burn but I tested it out so the in the skeletonized form the ship worked really well but here it uh, we, we will have to see how that how that works out let me see i wanted to pack some more solar panels and i produced some so that maybe that maybe i can just stick them into this container i don't want to go too crazy um but this is just four tons and four tons shouldn't be a problem. This one has 122 in it and that shouldn't be completely problematic. So let me try this. There's not a lot in the Tim containers. So uh, Tim needs to start producing more solar panels at one point. So but we will take this down for now and then see if if that's enough. Otherwise, I will just have to come back. The good thing with the ship that doesn't use up any fuel except the uranium, we can just come back up and go back down whenever we want. Okay, let us undock. Go up. Go back here. By the way, these are the the Star Wars force fields. What you saw uh, turning the ship blue there. <laughs> these are the Star Wars force fields. Um, again, someone suggested them. And I just wanted to show them off. They they are really really nice because they they basically hold in the air. So when it comes to speeding up, this ship works out really well. But let us see how it works going into the atmosphere. <laughs> so, oh, by the way, yes, that, that works out. Um, I always have to see if energy is used because if the energy isn't used, then the, the ship will definitely crash. And so uh, let us let us go down. The The thing is, with, with this ship, I can really, at least I could, speed up the ship, full throttle, go down to, I don't know, 2,000 meters over the ground and then start to start to slow down. It's not like with, with the other ships where you have to, yeah, be deliberate, go relatively tame and then start yeah breaking breaking around where um the the atmospheres then catch and all that stuff it's this is absolutely crazy i like it but again it takes up a lot of energy we we have to see how that works out with our with our uh, uranium supplies it, it should because normally you use up this amount of power when you speed up and when you uh, slow down and so if you don't go too crazy into red it should work out that it doesn't eat up the the, the resources the uranium resources too crazy we could even 
look that up. See, uh, all these reactors were filled with 400, 400 ura uranium. So th that's not too crazy. Um, I, I really, really like that. Good. We are nearly there. Nearly there. You can see that that it bottoms out. Um, bottoms out. I, that's not the. But it it goes into the the overpower mode when, uh, when we, yeah, when we really slow down. Um, I'm not sure if the thrusters still do that. That they use up more power and more to produce more thrust when you're in the dampeners mode. I'm I'm not sure if that's the case, but it, it could be. So. If you if you go down and then stop the ship, it it sometimes bottoms out, but that's not too much. So um, this will not use up all our uranium like crazy. Okay, ship is still there. That's neat. It works. And the first thing I brought down here was uh, more uranium, even more uranium. <laughs> But now we just the good thing with this ship is it has the it has the the connector on a relatively predictable uh, area so in the middle of the ship and not somewhere off to the side where the where the center slay headed the rocket slay headed uh, that's th th this works out a lot better than than the other way around. Good, let us uh, go down and see. Nothing changed here, so I didn't bring any materials down here. That's That was what I was missing, and now we should transfer all that stuff over here so that the built and repair system can start uh, repairing and building up all the stuff I hope doesn't go too crazy I have to see I will turn down my speakers because I have the I have the <laughs> because I'm sick I left my off my left off my <laughs> my headphones today so <laughs> if anything goes through the speakers the mic will pick that up good so this started to work on the thrusters that's good so we are getting we are getting the big thrusters back on this side and on this side these are also done and it should work on the on the source oh i need computers too okay yeah that's something i can bring down here next the again this ship is this ship is a lot easier and a lot friendlier to to use than the than the than the center sleigh. <laughs> it's really really nice. Good. I had this one, but I still need the computers for that. Okay, I shouldn't have have uh, left them up. Good. Let us go up again, and uh, then we will end the episode there. I would say. Five, go up. So you can th can see that this ship, when it comes to when it comes to uh, leaving, and now with with empty cargo hold, this is just amazingly nice. So we can directly go up. Use the the L Y thrusters to just speed out of the atmosphere. One thing I really like about these thrusters, and I talked about that before, is how much force they put out to slow down the ship. Um, usually, all the other thrusters again they they speed up the ship to to two hundred meters per second, and then it takes a bit to slow down these things. No, they just push hard. <laughs> Good. 
People, I think that's all for today, I would say. The the ship is now back safe, back in orbit. I can uh, dock that up again and then we... Uh, we... or I will do some more uh, flights down to the surface to uh, to stock some materials up there to maybe at one point and maybe relatively fast we will see make that thing self-sufficient so we need to build an, an assembler maybe a refinery make the whole thing bigger all this stuff we will see how that how that works out in the end good yeah now with this ship i can i can go between the build zones again um that's always good because if you can go fast then you don't tend to just stay at at one point and concentrate on that you can come back work here go back to the surface all this stuff that's that's always nice to have a ship that can do that the the mars ship was fast enough this one is even more crazy good people thanks for watching i would say Hope you liked the episode. If you did, then please leave a like on the video. I hope you liked the ship and I hope to see you in the next one, I would say. See ya, guys.